Thank you so much for joining me this Game Edge. And yes, this is a Wild West online game which is about to be released and it's not far away. I'm going to let you guys hear the developer in a few moments which is going to explain everything he's going through and all the process of the actual game itself which is quite interesting. And I'm actually very interested in seeing what else he has to offer here uh, throughout the process. It is really cool. The game looks awesome and I'm so stoked. I've been following this one for about six months, eight months I think it is. So I've been hearing about it and I've been getting involved. You have a choice to do a lot of things in this game and a lot of choices there is. Let's go through some of them here. Uh, you can actually become an outlaw, deputy, or anyone you want. Wild West players can be free to choose your own path. You can play the game and how to interact with other players, which will be all online, of course, based on their own actions. While they, uh, you can become a, law, a lawman yourself or outlaws in itself, you can also become a farmer. And a miner, you have a lot of things you can do throughout the process. You also have PvP, PvE, depending on which way you want to do it. They're also going to have your own servers you can put up, a dedicated service to play yourself. There'll be multiplayer servers online. This is going to be a massive game, as you can see right now. You can go and get dressed. There will be some cash purchases online also if you want to. You can buy special clothing and stuff like that. That is up to you, but they're going to try and minimize it to just that. Everything else is going to be themed around the Wild West, which is very, very important. You'll be able to put traps. You have so many things you can do. You'll be able to see in this video a whole lot of goodness and cool things. Just as you're seeing the bar right now, there's a whole bunch of things you can do, including gambling. You can play only against gambles. you only build to gamble against the AI, of course. They're not going to allow it, I think, gambling overall. Which means you gamble your money if you want to, put some down. And uh, you're going to have to earn your cash throughout this game. This is going to be a lot of work. There's going to be some minimal crafting. From what I've heard, there's light crafting in Wild West. Features some light crafting, as we're mentioning here, where uh, players will need to learn the recipes and forage supplies, convert looted items into materials to craft uh, necessities, which is awesome. Uh, form posses. Players can form groups of eight players and form posses, which means you also can get wanted lists and go out there and pick up some bandits if you want to. And that could also be online players you're going to pick up. That is really cool. There'll be wanted lists and a lot. They're going to show you this all in this game. I don't want to take away from it too much because I think the developers really explained it a lot better than I can sit there and explain about this. But again, this is a 612 Games who's created this this game. There'll be a link in the description field. You can sign up for the pre-alpha if you want to. You can purchase the game outright. I think it's $59. You get to play the pre-alpha. It's $39. You can play the beta. And there's also another one for, I think, $19, uh, depending on what you want to do. You also get extra things inside the game for the, all those things. This is your most wanted list, as you guys can see. It's really cool. And he's going to form posse and head out. There will be some bases you can build, uh, get to, you know, some places you can uh, stay at night. Uh, there is so much to offer in this game, and this is going to be the game that everybody's going to be wanting. This is like Red Dead Redemption, online GTA style, full out. This is what everybody's been looking forward to. This has nothing to do with, again, Rockstar. This has everything to do with the actual... This game right now we're looking at is imperatively beautiful. And again, I would recommend you to get yourself involved in it. I'm actually probably going to end up... Uh, hopefully get a key for this. If not, I'll end up purchasing uh, before July 20th um, uh, something else. Like hopefully. I mean, honestly, this game, I will definitely make videos of it. I'll get involved in it. I want to get dedicated server up for our Patreon. Also, we can all play together. This game is it. This is what we're looking forward to. So the pre office in July, and well, not July, it should be in the summer. Somewhere in the summer, mid summer, so July, August, I guess, around there. And after there'll be beta afterwards, and hopefully it'll be launched afterwards. So we can't wait to see their progression. This, again, a lot to do in this game, and the PVE option and a PVP option, depending on what you want to do. And that is great because you can do, you know, just farming, you can mine, you can sell goods, gather resources, or more. Uh, and uh, there is no shortage of activities to do in this whole thing. So we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to bring it back to the beginning of this video now. And you're going to watch and you're going to learn from the developers exactly what they're up to. So again, thank you guys for being here. If you guys like this one, know more about it, hit the like button in the comment fields. And I hope you guys really do uh, do get involved in this and you know get picked up, pick up this game. Um, there is going to be about 5,000, from what I've heard, Steam keys available uh, for for ins, I guess, for the actual pre-alpha. So you can actually go and pick some up if they give some away. I don't know how long that's going to be and how many, how they're going to do it, but we'll see how that works out. And again, the pre-alpha will be for the people who paid for it at $59. They'll have first dibs, and after that, they'll be bringing in other people who signed up for it. So sign up for it. Maybe you can play together. We can get online, because I will definitely be online playing this as soon as I possibly can. So again, let's get right into the video. 
Hi everyone, my name is Stefan. I'm the executive producer of Wild West Online. The whole team's excited for you to take a look at some of what WWO has to offer. We'll start with a quick look at the character creation screen where you can choose your gender, color, and other elements to customize your look. When you join the game for the first time, you'll spawn at the train station, one of the towns. In this case, it's Stone Creek. Look around, then move around and start exploring. And you'll never get lost in the world because with the press of a hotkey, interactable locations highlight in the viewport. Here we'll see a clothing store, bank, gunsmith, saloon, and a newspaper bulletin board. So we're going to check a bit out of what we've got around us, and then we're going to decide what to do next, and uh, let's go read the paper. So uh, newspapers are a key part of world building in WWO, and we plan on writing new ones on a regular basis to expose more of the game story uh, and highlight what's happened in the world so some of the player actions become part of the lore. And they're not just fun, they'll also contain info about in-game events. Uh, in a clothing store, you can change clothes or buy a new outfit. So we'll go to this clothing shop right over here, and we're going to skip looking at the uh, interface, and instead we'll just show you this new outfit that we got, complete with this uh, red bandana and white hat, so we look kind of badass. All right, so now the next stop is the saloon. All of the towns have saloons, which are the hubs for social activity in Wild West Online. You can buy drinks, talk to NPCs to get quests, gamble against the house, brawl against other players, and take part in other recreational activities. So we're going to look around in this saloon a little, and we're going to head out back here, check out where there's the card games, so you can play in this saloon, uh, poker or roulette. There'll be different games in different saloons. Now, almost all open buildings can be explored. But if you take something from there that doesn't belong to you, it's theft. In this case, we're going to go over here and we're going to steal this whiskey bottle. So there it is, and we are going to take it. Whoop. Alrighty, we just stole that whiskey bottle. But since no one saw us, our reputation wasn't affected. So the moral here is, if you're going to steal, don't get caught. Because if your reputation gets bad enough, you might end up on the most wanted list. And the sheriff's office is where you can see the most wanted board, and if you want, enroll for duty as a deputy. Any player can claim a bounty. So all you do is go over to the uh, bounty board over here, click on it, open it up, and now you can drag and drop the bounties that you want to collect. So we're claiming the bounties that we want to go out and collect here. Grab a couple of those guys. All right, so now we are saying that we're going to go ride out, meet up with my friend Mike, and he and I are going to hunt down those bounties and try and collect our reward. So before we go out and hunt those bandits, we're going to go to a rest cabin. Now in a rest cabin, um, you can do a variety of different things. You can rest, regain stamina and health, and you can use the crafting desk to make things, access your stash of your reserve supplies, and change outfits like in a clothing store. You also can unlock the ability to fast travel between cabins. The map will show you all the places you've unlocked fast travel between, and then you can select where you want to go and pop on over there. So we are going to travel from Stone Creek to this cabin marked right over here. Hold E to travel, and bang, here we are. And now you can see stash, clothing change, crafting desks, we can rest up in here. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go find Mike, because Mike has ridden out ahead and staked out a campsite and located where he thinks the first of our bounties are. You can see that in Wild West Online, there's different environments. This is a pine forest. The pine forest is completely different from that plainsy kind of location that we saw out around Stone Creek and in Stone Creek. And so we're going to march through this forest and we're going to look for Mike and the campsite so we can meet up and rest up a bit more and then go find our bounties. Oh, there he is. Mike and I are going to team up to hunt this bounty together and the bounty may very well have uh, his posse with him. Yo, hey Mike, how you up, doing man? there buddy? Good to see you. Mike has set up a campsite and a campsite is basically a portable reusable rest cabin. Some of them have all of the features of the rest cabins and some just allow you to say, change your outfit and rest up. Once we've rested up, we are going to head out and hunt our bounty. And there he is, Sabian. We're going to hit him down and he's got his buddy Davenport with him. So Mike and I should be able to take down those two guys. Pretty, oh, oh, there's a third guy. All right, so Mike, we're going to go left. We're going to go around Let's here and flank him. 
So you take the left flank, I'm going to take the right Sounds flank. Sounds good. You come around, and we're going to crossfire them. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, sneak up on this guy right here. And I'm going to shoot him through his tent, and he is going to be a sad camper. When the time is right, we okay, are going I'm ready. to say... Bye-bye. Now I'm going to sneak around here. And Got him! Oh, Mike took down Davenport. Oh, oh crap! Shit. Our guy saving it just shot Mike, so now it's just me. Bastard. Son of a bitch. There you are. All right. Got him. All right, so I got the bounty. I lost Mike, but uh, I got saving it, and I got our bounty. Thank you, everyone, for checking out the Wild West Online gameplay video. Please go to our website at playwwo.com to sign up for the alpha. Visit our forums and subscribe on social networks like Facebook and Twitter to keep abreast of the latest info, get exclusive offers, and make your suggestions heard. Thanks.